Hey y'all, so I am back to make a simple soap, very simple. This is oatmeal, milk, and honey. Um, I'm going to, usually I would do one solid color, do like a mica cover top with the honeycomb design on one side, but I'm switching it up. So I'm gonna do three fourths of the soap will just be um, no color added, just it'll turn like an oatmeal color from the, um, the vanilla content in the fragrance. And then once that's set up, I'm going to do a gold, like honey colored, um, just honeycomb top. So I'm gonna do that instead. And I'm trying to think if I have anything else to say. Nope, I think that's it. So uh, let's get started. Let me tell y'all what happened. So, <laughs> you know, in my, I think it was my black raspberry vanilla a layered soap video I was saying that I don't wear gloves when I do layered soap so this is an easy simple layer soap but you see I have gloves on right so yesterday when I was making love spell soap it was a big the video prior to this one let me tell y'all <laughs> I don't know how it happened but my toe started burning and I'm like why is my toe burning? It was like after I finished making the soap. So I'm looking, I'm like, why? Well, I know I don't have a cut. My toenails aren't too long. They don't need cut, so I didn't cut my skin. So I'm like, why is my toe burning? So I'm spraying it with alcohol, running it under water. Guess what happens? I see a brown little burn mark in my toenail. Somehow I splash soap batter on my toenail and now I got a little brown hole in my toenail. <laughs> I'm like, I'm so glad it's not summertime. Goodness. And if they were polished, I don't know if that would have happened, but my toes, you know, it's wintertime. <laughs> Who cares? So, man, so I've learned my lesson. I'm wearing gloves. I don't care if it's a layered soap, a, just one solid color soap. I am going to wear gloves. I learned my lesson. <laughs> so let me get started. <laughs> I'll just give this a quick buzz. Oh, I guess I can tell y'all now before I get started. <laughs> so this is just oils that I have separated um, the one fourth of my batch. And the color I'm using is Maya Gold from Nurture Soap. So, okay, let's go. Pour my fragrance in. Oatmeal, milk, and honey is another good soap for beginners because it does not accelerate. The ones that I tried from Aztec and from um, Nature's Garden. I think those are the only two I've tried, but they do not accelerate. poured into the mold. Move this out of the way. And I'm soaping at room temperature, which is about 70 degrees. this set up and then we'll be back to do the honeycomb top 
Okay, everyone, I am back to do the top honeycomb layer. It has been about 20, 25 minutes, and this is still not set up as much as I wanted it to be. But we gotta get on. I don't have all day. So I have my mic in here. I've already told you the color, the name. Let me pour my lye water in here. I'm not gonna add any fragrance because it has vanilla in it, so it will discolor it. So this won't have any fragrance. Just going to emulsify this. Hopefully y'all can see me. I didn't want it to get too thick and it looks like it did. <laughs> This right here is just a piece of bubble wrap that I have measured out to fit perfectly on top. And I'm just going to stick it on here. Take these gloves off now. I think I'm good. I don't think I'm gonna burn my fingernails. And I'm just going to press this into here so that it lays right in there. Hope y'all can see me. Trying to make sure I got all the edges. And that is it, y'all. Hey, everybody. I am back to cut the oatmeal milk and honey soap. I have actually already cut a couple of pieces. I won't hold you for the whole video. Of course, they all look the same, but here is one close up. The honeycomb top. Turned out great. So let's get into it. Also, I hope y'all like how consistent I have been with my posting. Give me a thumbs up for the consistency, because y'all know I will post a video and get ghosts for about a month or two. So, thumbs up this video for my consistency. Thank you. <laughs> I've had this soap sitting for about three days. I thought it was gonna mess up the layer when I had to, um, bang it down because the batter, the soap, had got thicker than I had wanted it to. I like when it's very fluid when I'm doing the layers. That way they just spread effortlessly on top of, you know, the bottom layer. 